Easter eggs are made to be discovered, even when the filmmakers do their best to hide them from us. Fans are so dedicated at finding them that after an opening weekend, there are already lists made of these hidden gems. But some Easter eggs go unnoticed for so long that when they're found, you have to applaud those that found them. Here is Screen Rant's list of 10 Easter eggs from popular movies that took years to discover. Let's make some magic! Raja as Mickey in Aladdin. Disney's animated films are known for their Easter eggs, and there are plenty in 1992's Aladdin. Robin Williams makes that easy by changing voices and improvising jokes, but did you see a Mickey ear reference in the film? After Jafar is defeated and his spells are reversed, Princess Jasmine's tiger is made full size again. You'll have to pause it frame by frame, but you can see the added Mickey ears on the feline critter. It's hard to see without a DVD or Blu-ray, but it's there. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I lived through the Black Plague, and I had a pretty good time during that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it! Jack Skellington in Beetlejuice the only person that knew he had placed Jack Skellington in Beetlejuice was the director, Tim Burton. Beetlejuice came out in 1988, and The Nightmare Before Christmas came out in 1993. Burton was working on concept art for Skellington while shooting Beetlejuice, and decided to use a piece of that art as part of Beetlejuice's hat in the climax scene of the film. It's easy to hide an easter egg when no one knows what it is for five years. Batman in Watchmen the opening credits to Watchmen is a storytelling montage of epic proportions to the song The Times They Are Changing by Bob Dylan. We learn more about the characters in those five and a half minutes than most films show in two hours. The first flashback is a hero punching a criminal that looks like Joe Chill, the mugger who killed Batman's parents. The couple in the doorway looks an awful lot like Thomas and Martha Wayne. There are Batman posters on the wall, and the billboard is for the Gotham Opera House. But here was one that was hard for viewers to see. A sign reads Fledermaus, which is German for bat. I'm a great tracker. Did I mention that? Doug the Dog in Ratatouille. Ratatouille was released in 2007, and Up was released in 2009, which means that it was not possible for anyone to see this easter egg for at least two years. Doug the dog, who is able to speak in Up, is seen in the film Ratatouille. As Remy is running, he is startled by the bark of a dog, which we only see the shadow of. There is no denying it, that is Doug, and we won't see him for another two years. We're wondering what other characters we're seeing in Pixar films today that we won't see for a few more years. Morse code in King Kong. Peter Jackson has a wicked sense of humor, and he has illustrated that in his 1995 mockumentary, Forgotten Silver. He's also a fan of classic movies, and we've learned that he loves a good movie line, even if it's not from his films. During 2005's King Kong, as the ship approaches Skull Island, the crew receives a note in Morse code. We're told that it announces the arrest of Jack Black, but in reality, it says, show me the monkey. Perfect timing. How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? Cameron's Jersey in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. John Hughes' classic 1986 teen comedy has Bueller take the day off with his girlfriend and best friend Cameron. If the film takes place in Chicago and the trio even go to a Cubs game, why is Cameron wearing a Detroit Red Wings hockey jersey? They are rivals of Chicago's own hockey team, the Blackhawks. No one knew why until a 30th anniversary interview with actor Alan Ruck, who played Cameron. He stated, Hughes had decided that Cameron had a horrible relationship with his father, but a great relationship with his grandfather, who lived in Detroit and would take Cameron to Red Wings games. Well, better late than never. On the other side of the screen, it all looks so easy. Pac-Man in Tron. Steven Lisberger's 1982 sci-fi adventure Tron was a visually stunning film for its time. There's so much going on, it's kind of hard to miss the details, and even harder to see the easter eggs hidden in the film. On Sark's battlecruiser, pay close attention to the schematics on the wall. There is a Pac-Man eating away at a line of yellow dots. It's hard to see with all that's going on, but it is there. Being that Jeff Bridges' character is a fan of video games, this easter egg is quite fitting. The Shining Carpet in Toy Story the story of an alcoholic father that is driven insane and tries to kill his wife and son is featured in this heartwarming animated Disney film. Wait, what? That doesn't sound right, but that was the inspiration for this Toy Story Easter egg hidden in Sid's house. Look at the carpet at the Overlook Hotel in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, and the carpet in Sid's house. The patterns are the same, and as a bonus, Toy Story 3 shows it again, on a box as the symbol monkey watches the surveillance cameras. Naughty Wizards in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban 
Watching the end credits in films is a daunting task, even when a lot is going on, like in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. In these credits, the Marauder's map tracks the students and professors of Hogwarts. Many years went by before anyone noticed two pairs of feet pointing opposite directions, while one is spread open. We believe someone is getting close with another wizard, and we just hope that they're using a protection spell. Potatoes in The Empire Strikes Back The asteroid chase scene in 1980's follow-up to Star Wars was a memorable adventure, and that had a lot to do with the practicality of the scene. Lucas was tough on his crew and wanted the best special effects possible, so he had them redo this scene numerous times due to him not liking the way the asteroids looked. When they finally made an asteroid with Lucas' approval, one of the crew members said it looked like a potato. Since he was right, they added potatoes in the far back of this scene, making the film The Potato Strikes Back. What do you think of our video? Did we skip over any of your favorite Easter eggs that took years to discover? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun videos like this one. Thanks for watching.